G'day. Um, this one's for the beginners. Neutral stance, our training stance. Side neutral. This is a right side neutral with the right foot pointing at the opponent and my right hand pointing at the opponent. Left side neutral. Right side neutral, left side neutral. Left front stance. Right front stance. Okay, from the side neutral, we practice half steps. And from the front stance, we practice half steps. Okay, so that's a full step. Full front step. Full back step. Coordinate the hands with the feet. Okay, a basic technique in Wing Chun that would, you'd learn first would be the Pak Sao, the slapping block. So from a side neutral stance, from a fighting stance, you can imagine a punch coming in we turn the feet this way, slap and punch. Okay, so we're going to put another technique on top of that. Slightly sit back, grab and punch. And now moving forward into the opponent's center with the attack, a roll punch. So turn all the feet. Slap and punch. Sit back with a grab, punch. So even though we've gone back, we're going forward. And yeah, chase your opponent with a roll punch. Okie doke. So someone throws a punch, we can just sit back, grab with a punch. So their attack comes in. Now we've attacked, so they're going to start defending maybe and our technique will work a lot more better. Um, if we just step to the side with your pack punch and start attacking because you're successful with that. You could just start attacking when they come in because they're a little bit off their center line and your attack's just going to deflect, your attack will deflect their attack quite easy. Some people just aren't very coordinated the way they'll try and punch, whatever. So it's three techniques to try and link together. Slap punch, cover punch, and roll punch. Slap punch, cover can be a cover or a grab punch and roll punch. Um, we can make it more technical. We can do a pack with a low punch, grab with a low and a high punch before doing the roll punch. Um, in Wing Chun, we attack the bottom rib only connected on one side and it's very small compared to the ribs up here it cracks quite easily so one two we'll do pack punch so they've thrown the punch with you want to coordinate the body's power so really cracking that rib turning back and hitting it again and a high yeah? so one two three before finishing off which usually means three punches to the side of the head somewhere. Um, yeah, such a basic Wing Chun technique you'll learn in the beginning. Opponent through the straight punch, Pak Sao punch. I'm just doing it with a sit back Lap Sao punch and then a roll punch. You could do so we've gone from the side neutral here to this side neutral and staying on that side neutral before attacking. Um, the footwork can vary an awful lot depending on how the opponent's moving. You have to learn to move with someone, basically. So you learn your basic standard pattern, but that's not everything, so that expands. So, yeah, first technique I learned in Wing Chun class, so Pax our punch, Flaps our two level punch. Cover punch, roll punch. Um, so whether someone punches.
punches, you can attack with that laugh and punch. You can sit back and turn their attack into an attack, your own attack and punch. Um, you pack sail punch, body guard and come in punch. Just putting up the Wing Chun guard does an awful lot. Um, so remember this as well, deflect punches. Um, someone tries to kick, lift up your leg, defend kicks with your own legs. Um, but there in the beginning, it's this one. This is the first technique we learn. Side neutral, just side neutral. Left side neutral, right side neutral. Put a pack sail punch on it, lark sail, come in punching, um, and then expands into all techniques. So remember, keep the head up straight, keep the hips down a little bit, bend the knees, keep the shoulders down. That's the important thing if we want to find the strength of the body and bring that out through the arms. Um, we don't want to just be all arms. Yeah, what else in the beginning? You know, the opening of the shill and tower form. Keep your elbows pointing down. In the beginning, it's important to have correct hand position. So the fingertip should be gently touching, thumbs tucked in, and it's the middle finger that we're stretching. That will have a gentle stretching effect on all the other fingers too. But stretching the middle finger making the correct fist so that means these pads here have to touch these pads here like so. and then rolling up the hand when you feel it it should feel solid like a weapon so yeah make sure you're rolling up your hands properly and pulling back not just relaxing the hands sink the hip so that means you know we're using the body now it's not using the arms. You have to use your hip, sink, and you keep the knees bent, keep at that level. Find your balance, right in the middle of the both the feet, just in front of the heels. And we're essentially going to be using the heel and the ball, like on your step, it uses the whole thing. Right? Sometimes it's better on the heel, sometimes structure, sometimes it's better on the ball, the movement. Keep the fingers packed together. This teaches different things, but mainly the center line we're going to be working on, the wrists on the center line. Remember, middle fingers. Remember, the opening's about making a correct fist. It's the first thing we learn. Now the left hand comes to the center about this distance. Some people bring it here, bend the wrist and everything. So the whole forearm comes to the center. Elbow is on the nipple line. You don't, some people squeeze it to the center and cork their body in a way. So you have to make sure the body, what you're feeling there. So elbow to the nipple line. These are the yin lines. This is the yang line. These are yang lines. So Wing Chun's working on the nipple lines. Well, that's where our elbow is. Um, and one upward without a punch. So, and the Wing Chun punch is short. That's it. So, a bit of detail there. Get the whole forearm in, make sure your wrist is straight. Punch. It's about three inches, four inches. Middle finger, remember, all the fingers packing together, thumb in. Now, when we do the circling wrist, the energy runs through all of the fingers. Little finger circles in and down, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and back to the middle finger. For making the correct fist. That should become habit after a while. In the beginning, you have to like roll it up, 
after a while it rolls up nicely. <clears throat> so we've done the left punch, run the energy through all the fingers, make the correct fist and back. Same on the other side. Run the energy through all your fingers, back to the middle finger, make the correct fist and pull back. And that's the opening of your shill and tau form. Elbows down, shoulders want to be down. Remember the middle finger, all fingers packing together, middle finger stretching a little bit. Head point up, keep your tailbone tuck in, keep the back straight. Most people have got their shoulders over the back of their hips. So be a bit conscious and keep a little bit forward. It's the spine that's supporting everything. Most people, you know, think you have to be tough here. This wants to all relax and so things can develop and grow and move. You don't want tension around the heart. Sinking the hip using the, you know, the body. That's where they're at. Crossing the hand. This is that's where you're going to be going to fighting, right? And this is telling you where you're going to really be going. But center line, wrists, make the correct fist. That's what the first the opening is teaching us. Besides the stance. Make the correct fist. Middle finger, remember, run the energy through all the fingers, make the correct fist. And now we're ready for the sh first section of the shill and towel form. So in the beginning, 20 minutes, stand like this. You know, Chinese boxing, it's very important to learn to stand still. So now we stand still like this for 20 minutes. And then... practicing those that moves and then another 20 minutes so you get used to one hour standing there just in the opening now when you go to do your first section which we're three months down the track now you have to just stay this for three months just the opening nothing else concentrate get your body developed bring up the Wing Chun spirit you know the Wing Chun strength so now we can stand still and we've got a chance to really, you know, get this forward intent happening and but, you know, there's a lot of detail that we're going to have to go over in this first section. Tan Sao, palm up block, Sun Sao. Into Wu Sao. Slowly come down a little bit, drop into a Fuk Sao, down a bit further. So basically, your first move, a Tan Sao, and your, your Wu Sao's are all up here, but your Fuk Sao's are down here. So these are basically your two places that you're going to be sending out a lot of energy. Um, yeah, so the more that we can settle into these movements you're just supposed to do this very slowly one minute is good for the beginning one minute one minute so now we're up to three minutes four minutes five minutes six minutes seven minutes eight minutes right, this is a proper way for a beginner Slap, strike. Remember making the energy go through all the fingers, making the correct fist and pull back. And then we'll be going on to the second section. And then the third section. many ways to do it but basically independent movement of the limbs um, and then there's a lot of techniques to practice through there you should be very good at your Wing Chun boxing 
either using colours, jamming people up with tans and blocking kicks with different sort of ways. Um, playing a bit of cross arm with your opponent now and things like that. Starting to learn one arm Chi Sao. Some kill form. Right? Puts everything on your central line. So this is more of a form teaching you how to meet your opponent, not square on, on an angle. And then the you're learning double arm chi sao, um, starting to do light sparring with each other, understanding a lot more by now, a lot of other things. Bill G form next. Right, so when you use Bill G, it's more, I don't know, something like that. I'm flying out, darting fingers, not turning wrist. But anyway, depends what you've learned. Um, many different ways to do it. Um, and you know, along from when you're learning Chum Kill, we also start on the wooden dummy. So you're putting your techniques up against something that you can judge your distance on and have a little routine there with another exercise to play with, develop up. And then the dragon pole, horse stance, bow stance, all about how you turn horse into bow. And cat stance and they're standing on one leg a lot so that sort of training involves uh, horse stance at least 20 minutes and you're always going from horse stance to bow stance you know, how's your balance sort of go yeah does your whole body switch well and balance good on your feet and cat stance my battery's about to go out so i don't know how far this will get um Start practicing this one. They've got drop stance, you know, five stances of Shaolin in all the styles, except for Wing Chun. We use this one. And remember, you can have the knees out too, elbows can be out as well. Don't just be defensive. You know, 